everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, guys, oh my god, what a night it was last night for us Kingdom Hearts fans. Um, we got the announcement that there is a Kingdom Hearts fall on the way. Yee! Um, we have not talked about Kingdom Hearts in a very long time since Kingdom Hearts 3 dropped. Um, and I know that obviously, I think it was like the final mix came out or something, and it was like the D oh no no the DLC um and I I didn't get to play that just because I was saving money etc like that sort of thing because of uni but I did watch like playthroughs of it and it looks great like if I ever get the chance I really do want to have a go at it um but I, a lot of us did not expect this because usually there is a couple of games that comes out before there is a mainstream number um so the fact that we're getting Kingdom Hearts 4 is incredible um and then also there's another one called Missing Link um, I saw all the announcement last night, but I was out and I was so busy and I just like, <gasps> like, oh my god, like I was like, cr like so upset. I was like, oh my god, I want to watch this right now, but I can't. And by the time I got home, it was so late, guys. I was just exhausted. So we are going to be watching it right now, um, and I'm super, super excited um, for this trailer. Um, let's get into it because. <laughs> but before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Here we go. So this is the video that came out last night. Nice. I think this is, yeah, this is Kingdom Hearts Key or Chi. I don't know how you say it, but um, I always watch the cutscenes with the English translation just because they, they look so cool. I love this art style. Yeah, I never got to play it because my phone is rubbish and also just, ugh. It's too hard to keep up to date with all this stuff, but it's so cool. The art, the art design for this game was so nice. Oh, Zeno and Ericus. Mm, yeah, Union Dark Road. August 2022. Experience the long awaited finale. Oh, nice! Ooh, okay. I think this might be missing link. Oh, okay, maybe not. What the hell is this? Hikari to Yami いのちの脈々と受け継がれ時が流れ。ここは光と闇。爪の跡継がさず。夢と歪みを持った。多層都市。力ある帰る。It's a foreign game? Holy crap, dude. What? That's awesome. Looks so good for a foreign game. Ooh, I like the design of those Heartless Lair. That's cool. Very stylish. <laughs> Looks really good. Oh, I've missed Kingdom Hearts so much, dude. Oh, this is so good. Ooh, is this in? Hokanarano Kimi ga kono sekai ni sorry. Oh, what's his name? Brain, I think. Oh, Brain. 
people call him Brain or something? I can't remember his name. It's Brian or something. I can't remember his name. Shit. Oh my god. Closed beta test in 2022. Nice. Okay, I think this is the Kingdom Hearts 4. The Lost Master Arc. Ooh! Development footage. The heart resides within the soul, which in turn is guided by fate to its rightful place. Holy crap, these graphics look too real! To be a Kingdom Hearts game. What is this? <laughs> the choice is yours once more. <gasps> is it my baby? Sora! Oh! oh my god, he looks like a real boy! <gasps> what the- What's her name? Shit! Um, thing, Malusha's sister. What's her name? It's a long ass name. I can't remember it. Is this the uh, Verum Rex world? Because this looks so realistic. To an afterworld. Oh! Dude, what? Holy crap. Oh, this is such... What? Oh, my boy! Yeah. Oh my god! Why does this feel like Final Fantasy, um, is it 14 or 15, whatever it is? The one with Noctis? Oh my god, this looks so good! I feel like it's a little bit, I will say Sora's face does look like a little bit Uncanny Valley, but it's still, oh my god, looks so good. And it's still in development, so it's fine. Oh, but still. Oh. What are these camera angles? What the hell? From one which you came. Hello? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Donald and Goofy! Oh. Huh? Magic in the making! I love that. <laughs> Recap video of this event will be live at a later date. Or available at a later date. Holy crap, guys! My brain! <laughs> um, God damn! That was great. Oops. That's a thing. What? Like, what? That's just... Oh, I'm honestly so happy right now. Um... I think, yeah, again, I'm just gonna say this, this looks so incredible, and um, I did see a lot of people, because I, I won't lie, I did sc see the screenshot of Sora lying on the bed, or on the, sorry, the couch, um, on Twitter by accident when I was scrolling, and I was like, Mah! and I just quickly closed Twitter and refused to go on there, because I didn't want to see anything, um, but 
I know a lot of people were like, is this going to be like what the rest of the game's going to look like? Because obviously we've been used to sort of like that other style um, of the art and sort of like what Sora and also the characters look like. Um, so I am also hoping that this is, and I think it is, I think this sort of art style is only for the Verum Rex world because it's so realistic and also very much like Final Fantasy. It's almost like Final Fantasy VII Remake and even like Final Fantasy XV. Um, it looks like that. Um, so I am guessing it is just for that particular world. And like we saw with Donald and Goofy, I guess it's going to remain in that particular style. But I guess we will see as well when the, as development continues on the game and we get trailers and stuff that we will see more and more, um, of what's going to happen with this particular game and what style it's going to look like. But oh God, my baby boy looks so good. <laughs> um, the Missing Link game as well looks amazing. For a phone game, it's looking absolutely phenomenal. I don't think any phone game looks like that. Um, but I'm guessing you might be able to play it as well, maybe on... I don't think so, but I'm hoping that you'll be able to maybe play it on, like, PlayStation or something like that. Going back to Kingdom Hearts 4, though, <laughs> it feels so weird to be saying that. Um, but... I'm excited to see where the story goes, because now the Xehanort saga is officially finished, and it's sort of going in a very different direction, um, obviously with the f uh, what are they called? I cannot remember any of, like, my lore knowledge of Kingdom Hearts. I need to go back and look. I need to go back and study, guys. <laughs> but I think it's the Foretellers? Is that who they are? The one with the, the Ava and all those other characters? I can't remember off the top of my head, because, yeah. But... Uh, I'm like those characters is I, I'm pretty sure it's leading into sort of that stuff and then also the master of masters um, and all that jazz um, so that's gonna be really really interesting um, and I personally like going back I've played Kingdom Hearts 3 again even though I did give it a, a semi bad review on my old channel um, just because it was mostly because of the marketing and stuff because they showed way too much and I'm hoping they don't do that that t this time around with Kingdom Hearts 4 because that I think was their biggest downfall they literally showed everything so nothing was a surprise um you could sort of tell when things were gonna happen especially if you had watched um majority of the trailers um and unfortunately in a good way I get to watch those trailers and react to them but it also meant like when going and playing the game none of them none of it was a surprise so I hope that they learned their lesson from that and they don't show too much in their trailers. Um, but already, I'm super hyped. The graphics are so good already for Kingdom Hearts 4. And I'm so excited to see where it's going. Um, I still can't remember Marluxia's sister's name. Um, or, I can't remember his name in... Or is it Lu... No, not, not Luxord. I can't remember his name in Kingdom Hearts... Um... <sighs> Chi or X, whatever it is, I can't remember his name. It's been so long. I need to. What's her name? Hold on. I I really want to look it up now because now I'm confused. Um, Striliza. That's her name. God damn it. I was like S S S. Mm, what is it? I kept going to Sephiroth, but like Sephor, like something like Seraphina or something like that. But like I was like, no, that's not the name. Striliza. That's the name. So what I was trying to say, I'm going to cut out everything I just said and I'm going to re-say it. So, what I was saying was that um, it's funny that she is in this Verum Rex world because um, obviously she did die um, in the Union Cross, I think it was. Union, no, Union X um, game. Um, and so she died, but then she's here, which is really weird, um, but... Um, people were theorizing that she was in Birth by Sleep. We obviously never saw her, but that she was possibly the person that Axel and Isa were um, finding in the prison and saying, talking about her. So when you look, when you listen to some of the cutscenes, they're like, "Oh, do you remember that girl that we were looking for?" In, especially in Kingdom Hearts Three, um, I thought it was Ava originally because Ava was obviously missing at the end of Kingdom Hearts Three. Then I was thinking. What if she had been taken by Zigba and obviously Ansem, the bad Ansem, um, and they were experimenting on her or something. But instead, a lot of people were telling me, and a lot of people were talking about it on Twitter, that that might have been Streliza instead. And a lot of people have made fan art about it, um, and just talked about it a lot all over the internet, from Tumblr to Twitter to YouTube. So it could possibly be that too. 
Um, and then maybe she was sent to the Verum Rex world um, in a certain way. A lot of people are theorizing that, um, but I'm not sure. Because, yeah, it's interesting that she was in this trailer, but, mm, yeah. Oh, God, I need to go back and, like, full-on study because I need to remember all my names and all these people. I keep forgetting, like, how vast of a history Kingdom Hearts is, but it's so good. Um, and just, yeah. I mean, it was my first video game series that I got into, so I'm so- I'm very passionate about it, and I love it so much, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting too much into it, but holy shit, guys, I can't believe that- already Kingdom Hearts 4 has already been announced. Like, literally, it was only, like, a couple of years ago when we had Kingdom Hearts 3, and I honestly thought we wouldn't get it for a while. Um, but it seems like, obviously, with the multiple teams that are now working at Square Enix, they're now able to do multiple projects, which is very, very nice. Um, and, yeah. I'm very excited to get more information. I have seen it now, um, that we are going to get more information at E3, which is very nice. Um... And I'm guessing more, like, video game conferences and stuff. And I'm guessing we're going to get more um, information about this in upcoming video game conferences. So I'm super excited for this. Um, it's going to be fantastic. And just, yee, I can't wait. And I, I feel like, oh, I can't wait to hear Tetsuya Nomura talk about it more. Because I know how much Kingdom Hearts means to him. Um, and I also know how much Final Fantasy means to him. And I was going to say that. Um, there was a lot of Final Fantasy vibes in this game, especially Final Fantasy XV, especially that opening of the trailer. Very those very similar themes to the trailer that we had for Final Fantasy XV as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the trailer for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link and Kingdom Hearts uh, 4. Like, what the hell, dude? This absolutely amazing so excited for this and so so happy um this was just yeah i'm excited to get more kingdom hearts info and that's also another thing what worlds are going to be in this game um i was funnily enough i was thinking about this the other day um and thinking like what what worlds can they bring back into the next Kingdom Hearts game? And I feel like Encanto would be a good one because that's obviously just finished. Like, that, they might get the rights to that. Um, and I hope... A lot of us are hoping, Princess and the Frog, please let it happen because I would love to see that in a Kingdom Hearts game. Um, and the music mm, would be fantastic. But that is all for another day. We will theorize what worlds we might get later on down the track. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, finger out. Woo!